Welcome to Unqualified Uneducated. If you are new to the channel, this is where we bring you our unqualified and uneducated opinion on all things sports, music, TV, anime, or anything that's interesting. And if you are returning to the channel, you already know what time it is. Trying to get monetized. Joining me today, well, actually, he's, it's his return, you know, the rookie. I can't even call him the rookie podcaster because I'm the original rookie podcaster. But the, you know, the second original rookie podcaster, the junior executive to everything here. We got Carl calling in from Fresno. And also, we have a good friend of mine, longtime friend, Mike on the pod today. He'll be on for a few. He's going to be on. He, he'll be back around. So, how you guys doing? Good, good, good. Yeah, I'm doing pretty good over here too, man. Yeah, how does it feel to be back? It, it feels pretty good. Uh, I've been pretty busy with that work life, but uh, it's nice to have some time to actually do some enjoyable stuff on the side, you know? Yeah, yeah, it's always good to hear people's excuses. So, on, <laughs> to- <laughs> on, on today's episode, we're going to be talking about... It's going to be another NBA episode, to tell you the truth. So, we're going to give you... Predictions on NBA awards, the NBA superlatives. We're also going to be talking about our reactions to the first start of the, the NBA and rest. And if, if it's a good thing or a bad thing. That's all I was doing, bro. I had to I had to rest, you know? Wait, how many games have you played? I played, like, how many podcasts did I do? I mean... <laughs> <laughs> oh, I had to rest, bro. Oh, rest, okay, okay. You know? So, so, you, okay, so you're, doing, you're getting your Jimmy Butler on. Yep. I feel yep. that. I feel that. What what injury did you have? Uh, my noggin, bro. My noggin just hurt too much. Oh, all right, all right. Yeah, yeah, you have it, ladies and gentlemen. The noggin was hurting. So, <laughs> what award do you guys want to start from the top? MVP, or do you want to start from I don't know, most improved? I wish to do that. The citizenship most improved. Most improved. So, top, yeah, or we could top. do we could start at the way bottom, the citizenship award or sportsmanship award. Who you did just play? <laughs> Okay, Is so I think each team gives their... I think you only get one, right? Because no. Katie won once. I know, because I, I feel like Jerry Temple won last year. Maybe there Maybe is only one. Thing. Maybe, Maybe it's a team thing. I don't know. All right, so let's do. Let's start with the most improved. Who do you think the most improved player will be in the NBA this year? I got to think, man. I was, I was not honestly prepared to think <laughs> this hard. Well, I'm going to say this. My most improved player for this year, judging from the way that he's played in the first two games of the season, and well, because I'm being a homer, I think Darren Fox is going to be the most improved player in the league. Does it does it commonly go to you second know, year players? You know it. No, I don't think not. so. Yeah. Old Depot was in for a minute, right? Yeah, he was, but he really didn't improve his first three years. Uh, that is that is good because that is something. That, no, I don't think it it does. Cause I just feel like that puts some like more weight behind it not being someone like De'Aaron Fox just because it's like oh he should be growing at this rate because you know he, you might be right like that you know yeah 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 you might be right on that one. Let me let me let me think. Well, who do you who would you who would you guys suggest? I'll say uh, I'll say homebody too. Uh, Willie Trill. Oh, oh, that's the good. That's the good one. You know, I think I, I, I think it's a good one. The, the cracked out Go Bear, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Hey man, hey, you might you. you <laughs> that's the boy, dude. <laughs> You you might be right. You might be right because I'm 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 being a little I was being a little hard on him the last six months and the first two games of the season, but he has been playing really well. I think he scored twenty in the last two games. I and swear that dude that dude got like seven rebounds in the first half of one game and then zero rebounds in the second half. It's amazing. That's all. That's what he. That's what he's. That's what he does. Isn't it his contract? Uh, season three. Yes, yeah, that's, that's why that's why he's gonna be most improved because he already came out and said he wants to win, he wants to get all the money. <laughs> he's trying to get paid. <laughs> yeah, he said he wants to get paid. So in order <laughs> to do that, he has to he has to ball out. So yeah, I don't I don't think a second year player has ever won most improved. Like, he, Willie, my all right, 
he would right? chip me. <laughs> yeah, if he he might he's either honestly tell you the truth. I think that player is going to come from the Sacramento Kings, whether if it's De'Aaron Fox and if he gets uh, you know worked over because he's a second year player, it'll be I think Willie Cauley Stein's going to have a say in that, and if Willie doesn't have a say, I think Buddy Hill's going to have a say. Um, from these, also from these first two games, he, games he's going to get a lot of shots, and he's going to have a chance to uh, average at least. He's going to have a chance to average twenty points a game. So I mean, we can. I can't really think of another player in the league right now. It's just so early. It's so early to think about the most improved player and to like judge what random's going to end up being like good this year. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But. That's the fun part of it doing it. That's the fun part of doing the predict. That's the fun part of the prediction. You're trying I know. to predict. You're right. <laughs> All right. So right now uh, we we are at we are looking at it most improved unknown, but we got Kings players leading the ra- leading the race right now. All right. Mm-hmm. So you need a dark horse for that. Who? Julius Randle. Julius Randle. Ooh, Ooh. No, I like that. I that's like a Julius that's Randall. a that's a good one. That, that dude went off in his first two games. He's not even starting. But see, that's the thing, though. He's also my uh, my contestant for the next award, Sixth Man of the Year. Oh, yeah, that's true. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> He's already. He was like, he was, he was, uh, yeah, he was the guy that I was gonna. I thought that was gonna be uh, Sixth Man of the Year. Okay, let let me go back to most improved, so we can have some. Uh, some some context. There's gonna be some. I'm gonna lay, I'm gonna name off some guys, and then you you yeah, tell yeah. me. Here here we go. So Miles Turner from the Indiana Pacers. Huh. D'Angelo Russell from the Brooklyn Nets. These are most improved players. Uh, candidates that could blossom this year. Oh, I see. I see. Okay. Dante Exum from the Utah Jazz. Jamal Murray from the Nuggets. Hmm. Brandon Ingram from the Los Angeles Lakers. No, that's a no. I've seen yeah. this guy play. I've seen him still on the bench. This guy is always asleep. His yeah, eye, I've his, seen this dude his, fall asleep yeah, mid-game. I've never seen him wake up at all. And then, yeah, there's an article that said he's going to be a killer this year. He said he's always killing. The only thing that dude is killing is the pillows, man. He is not an assassin. Maybe LeBron's going to wake him up. But from now, all I know is this dude's always asleep. Always sleepy. Josh Richardson from the Miami Heat. Oh, yeah, it actually went off in that last game. DeJounte, oh, DeJounte no. Murray from the San Antonio done, Spurs. Right? Dead. Uh, no, he's done. He's done. Markel His Fultz. Actually, cool. Markel. Markel Fultz from the. Approved, yeah. I'm going to no, say. Markel Fultz is going to get rookie of the year. Even though, <laughs> even though that's a B, it's kind of BS, but. No, like, if, if Markel Fultz wins it, because he's only established his second year, but he didn't he didn't really play enough last year to improve on anything. Like, what? 20 minutes a game yeah, for like three games. Yeah, he, he, he basically could be a rookie. <laughs> so I'm telling you, rookie of the year. <laughs> Marco Fultz. <Bolt. laughs> <laughs> That'd be tradition for the 76ers. You gotta... Sixers always finessing that award from people. <laughs> okay, so we got... So most, so most improved, we named off a list. I still feel confident about some of the guys in the Kings being able to maybe snatch that. Yeah, WCF. Yeah, I, I think I think there will be some competition, so I it'll be fun to watch. So and so six man of the year, who do you guys six man of the year candidates? Who do you think will be in there? Well, now that I heard Julius Randle and I thought about it, I was like, yep. Right now, Julius Randle. Is sure. he really coming off the bench? Yeah, he comes off the bench. They start uh, Meritich okay. and uh, uh, Anthony Davis. And I thought that was crazy until I saw Meritich play uh, against yeah, the Rockets. Yeah, dropping freaking and, <laughs> and I saw him play against us last night. Dude, he, he, took, he took Bagley <laughs> off the dribble and shot a three in his face. <laughs> off the dribble. Bagley's our small forward. That's why. <laughs> Meritich too big for him. Gigantic small forward. It, it was insane. Like, I... Uh, I he was just he was just balling last last night and against the Rockets, so I I just I I can there's like no reason to, for Julius Randle to get upset that he's not starting because Miritich is balling right now, so I think Julius Randle is probably your sixth man. Uh, you got guys I guess Eric Eric Gordon, 
He's uh he's consistent. Yeah, he's gonna be a consistent guy. Uh Lou Williams. I don't know if he's not starting in uh LA, is he? No. Yeah, so Lou Williams, Eric Gordon, Julius Randle is is the guy. Um when uh when Bogdan Bogdanovich comes back, <laughs> Buddy Hill's probably gonna go to the start. bench. Yeah, Buddy Hill oh, would probably yeah, yeah. go to the bench. So he, Buddy Hill will also be in a contestant yeah. for sixth man of the year. So we always gotta throw in the Kings player for the award. You know, we, we we have to. <laughs> this is all we got. This is, this is all we got here. So I'm trying to think. Is there there might be a six man on like if you could think of like a playoff team? Maybe I think a six man could come from the Lakers. Lonzo is the only one I can think of. But. Lon, Lonzo is. It looks like Jay Crowder might be coming off the bench. Oh yeah, he could. He could six man it. Yeah, I think yeah, yeah, I like that. Uh, hold on, let me. I'm trying to think. Anybody from? Yeah, I swear I was just looking at something and I was like, oh, that that looks like a six man candidate, and then I uh, straight up forgot what I was looking at. Oh, JJ Redick right now, he's the he's coming off the bench for the 76ers, so he could be a candidate as well. You know, it's still it's still early in the season, so you don't know how these rosters are gonna shake out towards the end. Wait, but, Melo's coming off the bench, right? No, no, he will never do that. Oh. He should come off the bench, he's trash. <laughs> Even if he did come off the bench, he wouldn't he still wouldn't be uh Oh, Rozier, right? He's coming off the bench. Oh, Terry Rozier. Oh, that's a lock. That's a, that's a good one. That's a lock. You think so? <laughs> if he really comes off the bench the whole time, it's kind of hard not to because they're going deep. That is true. And they'll have, a, they'll, have, they'll, they'll have a better record than the Pelicans. Yeah. And that's something you got to factor in. Yeah, my okay, so he's in my top. I, I would say I would put, you know, Buddy Hilde, <laughs> Julius Randle, <laughs> Scary Terry. Uh, those would be the, you know, and then rounded out with uh, Eric Gordon and Lou Williams. Those are my yeah. those are my five, and those are the five guys. Okay. That was four. Eric Gordon, Buddy Hill, Julius Randle, Scary Terry, and Lou Lou Williams. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. I and forgot that this uh, guy, Buddy Hill was a part of it. And this guy is alleged allegedly a math teacher. <laughs> <laughs> This guy we're speaking to right now. Uh, <laughs> allegedly? I don't do that simple math. I do that, <laughs> that hard math only. Okay, okay, all right, right. Multiplication, I got you. Special calculators <laughs> for this one. I can only count up to um, count on my fingers, you know? Hey, do you allow calculators in your class? Yeah. Or, or are you one for of them? For one class and then for the other class, I don't. Oh, you're one of them teachers. You'll never use Hell a calculator. Hell yeah. No, oh, you're one of them. <laughs> You know, you know, you always have. You can use a calculator. Use your toes. Yeah. <laughs> Back in my day. <laughs> so we got most improved. We got six man of the year. Is the uh, next defensive player of the year? Uh, six man. Yeah. Defensive player of the year. Who's your defensive player of the year? Darren Fox. Mm. All right. So that's the Kings uh, nomination out the Rudy. way. So Rudy Gobert. Easy pick. Rudy Gobert. I'm going to go Anthony Davis. But what if Anthony Davis gets MVP? I think he's going to win both this year. Oh, I just spoiled my MVP. <laughs> he's not my pick. There you go. But, yeah, so, who, wait, who, besides the Air Fox, who's your, who's your non-Kings player that's going to win Defensive Player of the Year? Uh, it's always, it's always got to be Gobert. You think so? Because I think... Yeah. I think... Uh, Joel Embiid is low key. He has he has a he has a say. I really think Anthony Davis is gonna come out and you know have such a great year. I'm looking for him to take the MVP and the Defensive Player of the Year. I don't know if uh, you know there's Kawhi's back. You know that's a name that could be. That's true. Kawhi's back. Draymond Green is always around, but you know they don't really 
look for Draymond to get those awards. They don't look for Warriors to get awards. <laughs> Nobody likes Draymond. Yeah, they don't look for it. So, you know, I think uh, – I didn't Gobert win it last year? Yeah, that's true. You have to, you do have to take that into account. Yeah, I don't think they're going to give it back to him because if he – nobody wins defensive player of the year back-to-back since Dwight, I don't think. Since Oh, then my vote's for Dwight. Orlando Prime Dwight. Hey, you know who's come out and said you – know you know who came out and said that he wants to win defensive player of the year? And I only know this because of Smash, and it's not Dame. LaMarcus. No, 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 no. Uh, what's his name? Uh uh, Yusef, is it Nurkic? Nurkic. Nurkic said he wants to win Defensive Player of the Year from the Portland Trailblazers. But yeah. to win it, you have to be able to play defense. That's what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I guess he thinks it's, a, it's an award that they just pass out if you play hard. Oh, you know what? In his last game, he got zero blocks. <laughs> <laughs> but he did get two steals. <laughs> that counts. That's That's something. Dude, his teammate got six blocks. Who? Zach Collins. Oh, Zach Collins. Jeez. How's he been playing? I've I've always made fun of him. I don't know. He he had a he had a six point six rebound, six block night. That's kind of sketchy. Oh, six point six rebound. Well, six 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 <laughs> stat line, huh? <laughs> That's smashing boy, not mine. But yeah, I'll, I've always I'll always make fun of him because he's the pick that got us uh, Justin Jackson and Harry Giles. Uh, so far, you know, Justin Jackson has been non-existent, so you know he's not really helping on that end. But Harry Giles, you know, he he looked like he's looking like he can he could be a good player. So that whole trade is contingent on Harry Giles. Yeah, Justin Jackson made me real sad. Yeah, I we we so my caller and I went to the the summer league games that they had in Sacramento. Yeah. Like, and there was one game where Justin Jackson like went off, and it was like it was, it wasn't even like he was shooting well. It was just yeah. him being aggressive, like yeah. just playing basketball. Yeah. And he had like twenty twenty five points or something like that. And we're like, yo, if he's able to, you know, come alive in games like that, <laughs> and give us maybe ten points a game, yeah, combined with Fox. Combined with Giles, what we got with Buddy, Bogey, and Marvin, and we got Skull and Willie, and we Frank Mason. Nice. I was like, I was like, yo, we gonna win some games. We gonna win at least twenty games. This dude puts up some of the most incredible stats out of any player I've ever seen. He's the only player to play like thirty minutes and record zero zero and zero. <laughs> <laughs> like I've never seen that. His stat line, his stats are minutes. Like, uh, like it's in, it's like uh, it's impossible. Like it's really impossible to play thirty minutes, thirty three minutes in a basketball game and not get one rebound, one assist, one turnover. And it's been done before, right? The the Indiana Pacers uh, big man from back in the day. Which one? Hibbert. Hibbert. <laughs> no, <laughs> Hibbert. Got zero rebounds at one point. But he's the <laughs> least out of shot at it. Oh no, he's she, like seven four. Yeah, right? Hibbert was like. <laughs> Freaking nah. 20 feet tall, played a whole game, got zero rebounds. I know. <laughs> I, oh, man. That's <laughs> yeah, true. Yeah, it happened. That's the only reason I remember him. Is oh, come on, Hibby. But that was after the, But that was different. There was a lot of drama going on with that team. I think Paul George had slept with Roy Hibby's girlfriend. <laughs> that was like... That was fine. That was like... That was he was like, in his prime, and he couldn't grab a rebound. But that was like right after they were... like after It was right after the Miami Heat Pacers rivalry. This was... They had traded, I think, David West... It was it was after it was after a lot and Roy Hibbert wasn't there mentally. I'm gonna defend that guy, man, because he was all about he was all about verticality. That was the verticality. Think about it. He didn't even get a rebound from a free throw. Dude, you guys need to leave. For it. You guys don't the understand. Dude was trash. Paul George slept with his wife, girlfriend. He was oh, mentally for real. Yeah, that was that. That was that. That was during that time. Paul Roy Hibbert wasn't grab a rebound for Paul George. Why? He already rebounded his girlfriend. <laughs> How did you know that? How do you know this? Oh, I'm always looking for information, man. Y'all need to look it up, man. I used to, I used to follow Paul George's uh, wife before I, you know, I stopped following her out of respect for PG. You know, so uh, yeah, so a lot that was going on. You know, Justin Jackson. There's nothing going on with his family. His wife's all right. You know, the team. Everybody likes each other. Get a rebound, Justin Jackson. Make a shot. Get a yeah, steal. just like do something. Get a turnover. Do something, man. Don't, don't you can't come home after 30, playing thirty three mi- minutes and hit your wife with the zero zero zero. Babe, I got. Uh, how was the game, honey? And she's like, uh, he's like, uh, I got. 
You know, I played like 33 minutes, but you know, just I didn't do anything. Yeah. <laughs> he just goes out there and runs up yeah. and down the court. Yeah, just like I just I was out there. I, you know, that's Kurokuro, bro. <laughs> it's Kurokuro from Kurokuro's no basket. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we got this, that. Oh man, he is invisible. Whoa, you still alive? What just happened, bro? I I thought you had a stroke. What? <laughs> I didn't say anything. Yeah, you did. You were like, this bull. I said he's invisible. No, it wasn't like that clear. It was like, oh, God. I thought you had a stroke. I was about to call your parents and everything. <laughs> Just like, hey, uh, it's Carl, all right. So, moving on. So, now we're at the MVP. What? We just talked did about. We skip rookie of the year? Oh, jeez. Oh, yeah. We did. It's, dang, we should have did that earlier. Who's your rookie of the year? Not Marvin Bagley, unfortunately. You know, before the season started, I thought it was going to be Harry Giles. But I don't think it's going to be him either. I think it's going to be Deontay yeah. Aiden. Or DeAndre Aiden. DeAndre. Yeah, because the thing is with DeAndre, and it maybe well, not much for any other player besides DeAndre. DeAndre is the only player that can go into his – each game and know he's going to get the shots and you know he's the best player at his position. Uh, like Luca is on the Mavericks. They have DeAndre Jordan. They have Dennis Smith. They have Dirk still there. They have Harrison Barnes. So hold his, on, hold on, hold on. Why do you say DeAndre Jordan first like he's the best player? I mean, he's got to get a shot at Tim's stuff, right? He's a number one option. That's the whole thing. Oh, That's the whole reason geez. why he went to Dallas <laughs> is he wants to be a number one option. Oh, jeez. <laughs> He wants to be a number one option. That's why he went to – oh, that was the first time. <laughs> <laughs> then nobody lock him in a hotel room this yeah, time. Yeah, there was – Chris Paul and Blake Griffin weren't there to lock him in the room. And, and, and Doc Rivers was just like, well, oh, whatever. You could just you could just go. Wait, time out. Is Austin Rivers still play for the, the Clippers? Oh, that dude's gone. Is he even in the NBA? I think yeah, he's he on right? someone's team. Yeah, but – Let me see. I forget where he went. Austin Rivers might not be in the NBA anymore. No, he's yes. in the NBA. I'm pretty he's sure. on the Wizards, yeah. huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's weird. Maybe he might be in the running for sixth man of the year. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <That's> so. gonna... <laughs> <laughs> okay, sorry. Stop. We're about to get back to the rookie of the year, man. So, uh, yeah, like I was saying, uh, you know, and I, like Jaron Jackson's on the Memphis Grizzlies. They have, you know, Mike Conley and and uh, Marcus saw there's no way he's going to be like be able to stand out. DeAndre Ayton is the only person that can really stand out and get all the stats. I think, in the uh, next. Young. Who? Oh, Trey, Trey Young too. <laughs> Trey uh, Trey Young. I forgot about Trey Young. It's like who? Who's that guy? Yeah, Trey Young. That's the guy who used to make fun of his voice. No, you still make. I still will make fun of that fool's voice. I don't care. Yo, time out, time out. We're trying to get him on the show. Chill, chill. Good. Bring him on the show so I can make fun of his voice nah, to his nah, face. Nah, I can't have you because last episode Smash threatened John Wall. <laughs> oh my damn. <laughs> he said he wants all the smoke knowing darn well that John Wall is affiliated somehow with some type of blood affiliation. He's, oh yeah, that's for damn sure. Yeah, because I've seen enough games where he throws up the triple Bs and I'm not talking about Lonzo Ball. <laughs> <laughs> and Smash just threatened him. He said he's ready for all the smoke and I'm just like, I don't know. John Wall is like our side. It's like and he's faster than all of us. He'll catch Smash. You know how fast Smash runs. Yeah, Smash got no speed. It's the craziest thing I've ever seen. He's the slowest black person I've ever seen in my life. I know they make him that slow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm black too, so that is not racist. Sure you are. <laughs> uh, you get a pass. Yeah, I get a pass for that. So, rookie of the year, everyone agrees that it's DeAndre yeah. Aiden. Any dark oh, no. horse? Luca. Dark horse. There, Luca. He might, he might get like nine assists again. That is true. So we got DeAndre Ayton, Luca, Trey Young. Is there anybody else? I guess Jaron Jackson if he plays good enough. But yeah, I don't. I don't think he's taking minutes from Mar- uh, Marcus Hall. I don't know. He had twenty four and seven. Oh, for real? Yeah, in his oh, last game. Throw good Jaron Jackson. Marvin Bagley did have twenty points, I think, last night. So, you know, there's a chance. Okay, Marvin. There's a chance. Well, they actually played him more than 12 minutes this time around, so 
I got nineteen and eight. Hey, and it, you know it was it was a, it was a, it, it, that game was tough because you know our top three players are probably right now Fox, Bagley, and Willie Giles. You know, and they're going against Anthony Davis, Julius Randle, and uh, Drew Holiday. That's a tough. They 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 pretty much the whole game they were pretty much getting like taught a lesson. So <laughs> it, it was they were just they were pretty much just learning. They were just learning the whole game, but. There's something there, and when we get bo- bogey back, there's there's something there in Sacramento that people don't, that the national media is not going to give credit for. But Vladi should still get fired. Yeah, he should. Uh, he's trash. No love, no love for him. Um, moving on to now we're at the MVP. Who is your guy's MVP? Because I already spoiled mine. LeBron. Being Anthony Davis. You think LeBron's going to win? Just for like the, the pity MVP award. Oh, I know no, I feel bad. He hasn't no. won one in a while. Damn. <laughs> no. <laughs> you know that's going to happen. Like, no. Oh, he deserves one. Not LeBron. No. Yeah, it's happening. I can see it happening. Like, if they win like 50 games, people are going to be like, they only won 35 last year. LeBron's worth 15 games. That's What's all because of LeBron. Is there a stacked West? <laughs> It's set up, dude. It's so set up. It is. Now that you think about it. Uh, okay, so what would have to happen for him not to win MVP? Like, that cause, not make the playoffs? Cause you think so? Yeah. Because my, my, my MVP is Anthony Davis. And my problem, that, my problem with him not winning the MVP is the record. Like, he might be – they might only win 49 games this year, even though they're 2-0 right now. But they might not win. It. They might. He might get hurt. Anthony he Davis. Might gas up. Yeah, he might gas out. He always gets hurt. I think last year was the, the most healthy he's ever been. I think and he played like somewhere between sixty five to seventy some games, maybe. I don't know. I'm not sure. But other than that, you guys don't think anybody else? Giannis. Yeah. Giannis. That's my second choice. But then that's the thing. I thought Giannis was going to win last year, and Giannis went super hard the first month of the season, and then after that, everybody realized that the Bucks had no help. <laughs> And they still have no help. It's still the same Bucks team. Actually, Kawhi might be better. Kawhi could win that too. They're looking good. And Kawhi's up there. I'm just gonna always pull for my guy Giannis. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it's just he has no help, man. I think their big acquisition this year, Brooke Lopez. <laughs> That's dope, dude. Literally. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, he's like, he plays so different from them. Like everybody on that team, like runs and jumps. I've never seen Brick Lopez jump before. Yeah, I don't think I have either, actually. He's like in the, he's in that Zebo class, you know? <laughs> that phone I mean, we should have a list of phone book players. I mean just, <laughs> if you get a phone book, those guys are tripping over it. <laughs> Lamarcus Aldridge. Lamarcus is on that. Hold on. Lamarcus Aldridge. <laughs> hey Mike, there's a there's a hold on. There's a video. There's a video on YouTube. I don't know if it's still up. Yeah. Lamarcus Aldridge's top ten dunks. <laughs> and it's so bad because the dunks they go over the course of his entire career oh my and God. they were only able to find 10 and you know what the worst thing is though <laughs> what was the worst thing Carl what do you remember the worst thing about that top 10 dunk was it one of them not even him well, yeah one of the dunks is not even him <laughs> <laughs> and this was like I don't know if they if I, they might have updated it but like this was like, it was like two, Marcus Camby or something yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this was like back in 2014 his top ten dunks weren't even not ten of them. They were top nine dunks, and none of those dunks were like you watch all of them. You're like, oh, okay. they were all dunking on Chuck Hayes. I think. <laughs> he had he had nine hard layups. That's all it was, a hard layup. Oh this is all he had. So Lafarge Aldridge is probably the best player on the phone book list. I mean, we're gonna put the phone book list out on Instagram. Oh boy! So we got so, so we gotta have top five people on the phone book list. We got Marcus Aldridge. Lamarcus Aldridge, Zach Randolph, um, Brooke Lopez. Brooke Lopez, yeah, yeah. Boris Diaw is probably the legend, but he retired. He retired from the phone book list. Um, Marcus All. Oh, Marcus All, that's a good one. Too bad Glenn Davis retired. <laughs> big, big Baby is like a poster child for the phone book list. <laughs> He was that up and coming. He yeah, was like he was that young. A, he was like up and coming phone book list. He was that prodigy for the phone books. Uh, post Achilles to Marcus. Is that too messed Maybe. up? Maybe. 
We got to see him. We got to see him play first. But post Achilles, DeMarcus might be on the phone book list. And was it Clay that dunked in China but fell? Yeah, China Clay. <laughs> Could Clay get on the? Clay's gonna be the first guard on the phone book list. Maybe we'll 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 we'll, leave, we'll, we'll, we'll wait on that. But Clay might be the first guard on the phone book list. Uh, my last one. What, your boy Kyle Kyle Anderson. Is he a phone book list guy? Oh yeah. Okay, so we got. I think so. Because he's like the he's like baby Boris, right? <laughs> Dude, yeah, he just moves so yeah, like, slow. Oh, yeah, you're right. The whole Spurs team is on that list. Because they got Paul Gasol on there. <laughs> Anybody. Okay, but we're going we're gonna to go with the, the superstars of the phone book list. We got Zach Randolph, LaMarcus Aldridge. Superstar. <laughs> Zach Randolph, LaMarcus Aldridge, Brooke Lopez, Kyle Anderson, and who was the other one? I forgot. I'll play it back and we'll find the list. Okay, so we, so we did... Uh, Carl, you say uh, so. We did. We did all the awards. We got phone book list. We got MVP. We got rookie of the year, defensive player of the year. Um, I six, like how six phone book list was thrown in there with all the awards. <laughs> That's an important list. Watch, I'm qualified and educated. That's how we're gonna get big. We we got all these lists. We got the burgers list. We got the phone book list. Um, we got the Robert follows your wife on Instagram list. <laughs> We got lists all day. We got all these lists, and that, that's how we're gonna get known. We're gonna be known as the listing podcast. Who gets podcast. the first burger list? Who gets, who gets who gets the first burgers in the NBA? We almost got it. Oh, we almost got burgers last night. There was a point where we were losing. <laughs> we were losing by like thirty five points, and I was getting scared because I did not want to oh, put the Kings God. on the burgers list tomorrow morning. Which we have to update the burgers list. We haven't done that in a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know. Okay, so. Okay, so that was for the the awards. Uh, How did you guys feel about the first week of the NBA? Anything stand out to you guys? That Luca could actually hang, not get locked up so much. You know, I thought he was gonna get landlocked. Yeah, I thought, I thought so he too. was like, but you know, who who what team have they played the first? Uh, and they play the Suns. Yeah. So the Suns, they got Trevor Reza, so they probably Trevor Reza probably got some time guarding them. So yeah. You're right. He actually had a fast break bucket. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah. Right. yeah, you're right. Luca actually can play. Um, you know, my biggest takeaway was realizing that the Boston Celtics are going to win the East and could be competitive against the Warriors. So, I don't know, man. They lost to the Raptors. I know they lost to the Raptors. But I feel like the Boston Celtics are still figuring things out now. Because the, the Celtics have a lot going on. They got, you know, they got the Kyrie, Terry Rozier dynamic. They got the uh, Jalen Brown, uh, Gordon Hayward, Tatum thing going on. And whether they're going to be a small forward or a power forward. How much minutes are you going to give to Aaron Baines? Because he's heck of big. And he, kinda, <laughs> <laughs> he is. Then you got Al Horford, who's really small but kind of slow, but still good at center. So they're still trying to figure out like what their dynamic is, and and I do like the Raptors because uh, Smash made a point on the last episode that the Raptors got better just by adding Kawhi over over uh, Demar Derozan. They get better, and they also add uh, Danny Green, who's a good defender. So I, true. I agree that it, it most likely will be uh, in the conference finals, which I'm hoping will be some type of Boston Celtics Raptors matchup with the Celtics going on to face the Warriors in the finals. I just feel like out of any team in the NBA or any team on the, on the East, I feel like the Celtics will have, I mean, the Celtics will make the best matchup for the Lakers. I mean, the Warriors, because I feel like the, it's like, yo, the Raptors have problems going against just LeBron. Like, how do you think they're going to go against KD, Steph, and Clay? Yo, like, <laughs> what's his name? They got OG and they got Kawhi Leonard. Kawhi Leonard is going to have, no, uh, Kyle Lowry is going to have a heart attack on the floor. He could, his heart wasn't, like, LeBron was enough to break Ky, uh, Kyle Lowry and DeMar DeRozan's heart. If, if uh, Kyle Lowry saw Steph coming down on fast break and then he stops Steph and Steph passes to KD, yo, it's enough. It's over. That might do my die. So for the health of the Raptors, besides, besides Kawhi and Danny Green, because they're used to the Warriors, everybody else on the Raptors, they're going to have a heart attack if they play. So I would rather the Celtics go 
to the finals for the sake of their lives. Yeah, it would be a better that. would be a better series. Oh, uh, I'm also disappointed in Philadelphia 76ers. I don't know why. Yeah. I don't know why, man. It was only one game. It was the first game of the season. But something about that first game just made me say, like, you guys lost to this team in the in the in the playoffs when they didn't have uh, Kyrie and Gordon Hayward. You guys got beat down in the first game of the season. I don't see how you guys can overcome that. And the only thing that can the only way that they can overcome the Celtics is if uh, Ben Simmons gets a jump shot. That ain't happening. <laughs> so, those are my takeaways. The Celtics. I was, uh, I was pleasantly surprised from uh, that old what's his name Aiton. Uh, DeAndre Aiden? Yeah, I was surprised because, you know, in like uh, at least in the summer league and stuff, he didn't seem like too – he, he was like decent. You know, he's a great athlete and stuff, but he's not like well-rounded. But in his first game, that dude actually put up stats. Yeah. Like he could play. Yeah, no, like it's uh, – I mean, it's good because like for a long time now, like everyone was saying like the big – like the big position is dead. Like there's no more good bigs. But like right now we have so many bigs across the NBA. Even with one of the best going down last year, like two or three in this draft will you know can replace the market. Not as probably not as good as he he was, but like just like that spot of like helping out the big man population because you got Mo Bamba, you got Marvin Bagley, you got Aiden, uh, Jaron Jackson, and they're all different. They all have different abilities. And it was cool. Uh, Mo Bamba, he blocked a shot and can shoot the three in the NBA. I saw that highlight. Plus, he got a single, right? <laughs> you know. <laughs> There's the Mo Bamba song. That Mo Bamba song is kind of hot. Oh, that's right. That Mo Bamba like, song is kind of hot. <laughs> and, like, he, he does have that. <laughs> like, oh, yeah, another 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 uh, reaction is... uh. Uh, what's his name? Uh, the Kings. I gotta go back to Kings sometimes. How many bigs we have, man? I know. You know, Scott got five minutes to play a burn last night. <laughs> and you know what the crazy thing? The only reason why he got that playing time is because Bajelica. <laughs> I don't know. That's not how you say his name. No, nah, it's Bajelica. That's what Bajelica. I call him. Bajelica, or is it like it's like the elites or something like that? But I got that. Yeah. From you. I got that from you, Bajelica. <laughs> And Willie got into foul trouble the first in the first quarter, so they so Jaeger was forced to play Giles and Backley. He didn't want to, but he was forced to, and they yeah, started. We got way too many bigs. <laughs> and then uh, Giles got fouled. He fouled out, so he had to put uh, uh, Scott <laughs> in. So if Giles never fouled out, and uh, Willie and Bajelica never got into foul trouble, you would have never even known that Scott was on the team. And Koufus was in street clothes, and I didn't even see Zebo at the game. Yeah, we got Doofus, Koufus, Zebo on the bench. Oh, my God. Bro, like, I knew we had bigs, but I didn't realize it, that we had that many bigs. Like, it's, like, I knew we had them, but just, it didn't <laughs> register. Like, it's we have, real. we have that many bigs. I know in the preseason, we had the, uh, uh, I would call it the, uh, the PG and four sevens lineup. Uh, where uh, it was Frank Mason at the point guard, and we actually started Willie, Skyle, Giles, and uh, Bagley. We're all on the court at the same time. Yeah, they're trying to make a monsters uh, <laughs> starting lineup, bro. It was, it was. I'm not gonna lie, it was actually pretty nice. <laughs> we got all the rebounds when uh, for that quarter. Did they get outscored like seven to zero while that team was on the floor? That's not the point. I'm talking about rebounds here. I'm talking about rebounds. Off of rebounds, we did pretty good. Yeah, we just got too many bigs. Just way too many. And, you know, we talk, we're talking about the Kings a lot on this podcast right now. So, Mike, we'll give you a chance. What do you, what do you, what do you want to say? Do you want to say anything about your Warriors? No, 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 no,
right, a so, certified Warriors. I wouldn't, fan. Al- I wouldn't <laughs> allow a normal Warriors fan to come over here and talk anything about their team on this podcast, but he's he's certified. So, is there anything you want to talk about the game last night with the the Utah Jazz? Where you guys let the Jazz score eighty one points in the first half? <laughs> Well, then, Jarebko win the game for us. Yo, that was funny. Yeah, hey, 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 Carl, did you see the uh, the Jareb, when Jarebko tipped that ball in? <laughs> no. It makes you never want to win an NBA game again. The way that they treated him, how angry. Like, if you saw what the, the Warriors, how they celebrated, Kevin Durant grabbed Jarebko's mouth and pushed it away. It was like, yeah. It was the weirdest thing. Like, everyone, DeMarcus came up and, like, slapped his head down. And it was crazy. I would never want to win an NBA game for these yeah, guys. He took his shirt off. Like yeah, he was it, wilding out. It was. It made no sense. These guys were just like angrily happy. Like I get it. Yeah, let's celebrate. Like, but they were beating them up. <laughs> they were putting the hands on Drebko for winning the game. It's like don't do that again. Drebko's never going to do it. And the funniest thing was when Drebko tipped the ball in, he. Walked over to the Utah Jazz's bench and like flexed in front of all of them. You got to watch it. It's the funniest thing I've ever. Wait, he, he was on the Jazz last year. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay. He's like, yeah, hey, don't sign me back. Yeah, see what happens. I'm gonna win a ring. <laughs> that's for, that's what he what it was. So like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Stick to Donovan Mitchell. Donovan Mitchell ain't gonna get you nothing in the next five years. That's what it was. So it it was it was it was. You got to watch that whole situation is hysterical. I'll have to watch it. You go from the tip in, which. You know, and then he, he's like, he flexes in front of the team. Then the whole team, like, beats the crap out of him. And the, <laughs> the beating the beating doesn't stop. It, like, it, it carries over from the, in front of the Jazz's bench all the way to half court. And then everybody's starting to walk off. Like, Drebko, like, literally runs away from the team to get to the locker room so he can stop getting so many hands on him. <laughs> it was the funniest thing I've ever seen in my life. But you got to check it out. So, Dude, do you know what I just realized right now? What's that? I understand now why the Warriors were allowed to become this super team. Steph Curry's ankles? No, no, no. Uh, because Space Jam 2 is coming out, and they needed the Monstars lineup. And that's actually what that whole uh, starting lineup is when DeMarcus is back. That is, like the Monstars. Against LeBron. Yeah, Against nah, LeBron. Yeah, it got to be somebody else. They need somebody that's a more quicker, a little more cunning, a little more foxy. I think De'Aaron Fox. Oh. <laughs> I didn't see that train coming. <laughs> I think De'Aaron Fox should be the, the, the face oh of the Space Jam. I think it's perfect. Fox versus the Warriors, man. That was That's Ice's true. job. <laughs> I think it was supposed to be uh, Muggsy Bose, but, you know. I mean, uh, the short guy. That was supposed yeah. to be Isaiah Thomas' job, but I think that's going to be Steph. You mean Julie Farrell, right? We're just sticking with the Kings. Who's no, <laughs> Okay, so um, we did everything on the agenda, but I wanted to ask you guys, how do you guys feel about players getting rest? And I want to, you know, there's, you know, it, it's, it all started with the Spurs, with Popovich resting his guys for a championship run, right? And that's understandable. Um, and I, I get rest, but, you know, what do you guys, how do you guys think, Rest should be handled. Should it be how? When should should there be a, a limit to how many times you can rest a player? When they should shouldn't they get paid on the games that they rest? Uh, see, so when do you think that should start? Should that start after the All Star break? Should it start towards closer towards the, the end of the season? They should be allotted like four games in the season where they can rest. Because check this out: the article on Bleacher Report came out this morning that the Timberwolves are resting Jimmy Butler, the Raptors are resting Kawhi Leonard. And the Celtics are resting Gordon Hayward. And, you know, if you think about it, last year, all last year, uh, Gordon Hayward was out with that ankle injury. Kawhi Leonard was out with his uh, his thigh injury. And Jimmy Butler missed like a month maybe when he tore something. I forgot what it was. But he also was injured. So keep in mind that there, there, there is some merit to their rest. But They rested all last season when they were injured. Hey, there you go. I just feel like this, like they, it's too early in the season. What do you think, Mike? Yeah, it is. It is too early in the season. I mean, you haven't even played five games. <laughs> Why are they tired? <laughs> like, like, yeah, like what? The season just started. Like it's crazy to me that they would rest them this early in the season. 
And, like, I understand rest, and I get it. And, like, you know, those guys were hurt last year, but you can't do that, man. That's bad. I mean, Kyrie Irving just got back from his knee injury, and, you know, he played two games already. <laughs> it's, it's crazy that we're talking about two games of the season. I, I got to say, Kyrie played two games. <laughs> How come he can't play two How come he can't play two games? <laughs> Wait, he played two whole games? Yeah, two whole games, man. It's crazy. Oh, my God. And, like, it's just, like, I don't know. It's just it's just weird to me that that you could – I know you always got to think about, you know, competing in the playoffs. But just let's be real. The, the Timberwolves, they're not, they're not competing for anything this year. And, you know, they barely made the playoffs last year. Shouldn't they be playing Jimmy so they can win these games? I think they're going to be the first one out. Uh, I did I can see that. I can see that. Um, we did like a power ranking uh, on the last episode. Oh, uh, do you guys? What do you guys think? Like, who's gonna? Do you guys? Do you guys know who the top eight in the West will be? I got the Kings. <laughs> We're like the top eight from the bottom. <laughs> inverse. Yeah, inverse eight. Number one Kings. So, but from a regular verse eight, <laughs> like, who do you think? You know, start from the Warriors down to. Who's number two? Number two, West? number two in the West is that's uh, it's gonna be. I think it's gonna be either Houston or the Thunder. Oh yeah, 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 for sure. Because I feel the Thunder getting rid of Carmelo, and they get they're gonna get they're gonna get better just by getting rid of Carmelo Anthony. They got our dude Dennis Schrodinger on there, um, and they also get uh, Andre Roberson, so defense is gonna get better. So they're going to be a better team this year. They made the and they got Nernest Noel on that team. The team is they're yeah, rounding I think out. OKC number two. They're rounding out. Uh, so I think OKC is uh, going to be number two. You Houston, think OKC above Houston? I bro, that getting, I don't know. Getting Carmelo, bro. Getting Carmelo instead of Trevor Reese is going down. They don't look the same. You you get rid of a system player and that was that was CP3's was playing less. Kind of shoot and but play good defense for a player that can. Kind of shoot, can't play defense, and can only play one on one. Do they still have PJ Tucker? Yes, I believe so. Ah, uh, they'll be fine then. <laughs> <laughs> now they're they're. I think they're third. I think they drop off the third. And you, Mike, just said that. Uh, CP three is not. I think yeah, I agree with Mike. I think they're gonna be resting CP three a lot this year after they saw what happened in the playoffs. You know, not you know, regardless if they could have won or not, the fact of the matter is they were one game away from, you know, winning going to the finals. He goes down, they lose the next two games. So Well they I can guarantee you he'll go down in the playoffs <laughs> this playoffs as well. That's that's just what he does. I hey, I'm with you. I, I agree. Like uh, I don't I don't trust Chris Paul in the playoffs. That dude cannot stay healthy. It is what it is. I mean, it is. Some people are just injury prone. Like, it, it is what it is. So, I, I don't trust Chris Paul in the playoffs. So, no amount of rest is going to save him when that postseason comes around. But you can't blame the Houston Rockets for trying. And that's why I drafted uh, James Harden for my fantasy league. Because I know there's going to be <laughs> there's going to be some games where he's going to be putting up triple doubles. Because <laughs> Chris Paul's not there. And I'm talking about the 16 assist type triple doubles. So, so we got, uh, so we got Warriors. Thunder, Rockets, you fine with that, Carl? Yeah. Who yeah. go? Who you got at fourth? Now you you're looking at you now you're looking at LeBron. You're looking at the Jazz. Jazz you're looking at the Nuggets. Um, the Jazz. The Jazz the at fourth. I like the Jazz and the Nuggets. <laughs> All right, so we got Jazz. Jazz. I like Jazz too. They're more complete than any any yeah. other ones. So I'm so we got Jazz at four. At five, who do you have? Who do we? Who do we? Nuggets. Or Lakers? Lakers. You know, I'll take the Lakers at five. I feel like we haven't seen them yet. Yeah. And I feel like they have the per- they have the potential. Honestly, if everything works, they'd have the potential to be top three. But, you know, LeBron doesn't really play. Like, he's never, like, he's in the West, and he's never had, he never won, like, 60 games. Like, the last, like, few seasons, especially with the Cavs, he didn't, he didn't even win 60 games. And with the Heat, they won, like, 57 games. So you're gonna tell me he's gonna go from an easier conference to a harder conference and win what like 57 games this year? He's probably gonna win like 52 games this year, and I, you know, that's probably good enough for the fifth seed, and that's probably right where he wants to be. So I'm, I'm I like the Lakers at five. And yeah, yeah. 
I agree. Dope. Um, six. Who do you like at six? Nuggets. Nuggets at six. I like that. Seven. Okay, so the bottom of the the bottom the is bottom where it gets, gets hard. The bottom gets hard because now Portland. you got the Pelicans. Now Portland, I think Portland's done. Yeah. Look, you got Pelicans, you got Portland, you got. I think Pelicans are definitely going to make the playoffs. The Timberwolves. I, I think, think Timberwolves are making it. I like I like Pelicans at seven. And then uh, eight, because check this out—you still have the Spurs. The Spurs are still there. But you know what? They're kind of like starless in a way. They, they kind of are, but I feel like. Pop is enough. Number eight. So I feel like San Antonio at eight. I feel like Pop and, and, and Lamarcus and uh, Demar Derozan and the system is way more than what the the the, the Trailblazers have. Yeah. And the Timberwolves are just a mess. So you know, I could see, I could see like the the Mavericks become like a dark horse over the Timberwolves or the Rock, uh, the the Trailblazers oh. making it because you know you got DeAndre Jordan, you got Dirk, Harrison Barnes. Luca maybe even more than what we think he is, and you got Dennis Smith who might who might break. Hey, Dennis Smith might be a most improved player candidate. So I can see like the the mask being a dark horse, and then you got the Memphis Grizzlies who everyone forgets. Who knows? Maybe like their system can come back. That grind and that grind grind grind. What was it called? Grind factory, <laughs> grind house or something. They're old. Public house. They used to say I forgot what the public house. <laughs> They were the phone book house for a while. <laughs> that was the house that was yeah. Yeah, the front court was phone book. That was the phone book house. And my colleague had dunked. Yeah. Oh my god. Yo, that's the that's like where the They're phone book hall of fame is gonna be in like Memphis. Only Rudy <laughs> by himself. Oh yeah. Memphis is the phone book hall of fame. Whoa. No, that was the uh, timer saying that the show was over. I'm just oh. playing. I'm just playing. So, uh, <laughs> so uh, let's see. So, 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 eighth. So, who do we got? We got. Who do we have at eight? Spurs. I like that idea of the Mavs at eight. No, that, you made that sound real nice. The, I, I'm telling you, the Mavs are kind of people. The Mavs are low keys nice. Like I could see them making the playoffs, and I could definitely see the twenty or twenty one year streak of the Spurs making the playoffs coming to an end this year I could too they just those losing those two guys is so big I think it's just huge yeah it's, it's a lot and so like but like Portland man the reason why I don't believe in Portland they did not get better they didn't do anything they didn't get worse they didn't get better they just stayed the same and every team got better like you can even say if the Jimmy Butler issue never happened the Timberwolves could have got better because they would have had more chemistry. Yeah. They would have had a year under their belt, so Timberwolves could have got better. The the Nuggets, uh, they lost uh, Paul Millsap for a long time uh, last season. So if you think about it, if they, maybe if they had Paul Millsap last season more than he was, you know, more than he played, they might have been the eighth seed without having to play for it last year in the last game. So the Nuggets are going to get better. And they also added uh, Isaiah Thomas to come off the bench. Yeah, and then Jamal Jamal Murray, uh, I think Gary Harris, they're gonna get better. They're only gonna get better. Jokey's only gonna get more better. So, you know, the Nuggets get better. The OKC got super better with adding, getting rid of Carbello starting off, <laughs> uh, and then adding uh, <laughs> Schrodinger and uh, Nolan's Noel, getting Andre Roberson. They got better. Warriors get better by having a Demarcus Cousins who can come off the bench. Uh, the only team. And the top teams that didn't get better that also got worse would be the Houston Rockets. But I feel like their, you know, their three-point shooting is just going to be too much to where, the, you know, they can still be a top three team. And other than that, there's no team in the – there's no other team that got – that just stays stagnant. Yeah, I don't – I don't know. I can never – those – just that team based around – Two like guards who all they Dude. can do is shoot and one score. I, they, it's like I don't see anything yeah, the, coming from that ever. So the uh, it's the, just like no defense. That's all. Well, we got uh, Nurkic. He's gonna be defensive player of the year, bro. <laughs> You're right. First European, right? You're yeah. Right. The first, oh, that would be, huh? Yeah, yeah, I think so. That'd be the first European player ever to win defensive player of the year. Huh? Huh? Now I kind of want him to win. 
No. No, it could be Giannis, right? Gobert just or... won it. Oh, Gobert. But well, you know what we mean by European, you know what I'm saying? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Here we go, bro. <laughs> Certain type of haircut. You know, you know what I'm saying? I swear. I, I'm just, I'm going to go out and say, I'm just going to go out on a limb. And you know, I'm only going to go out on a heavy limb. Everybody knows what we're talking about when we say European <laughs> player. you got to be kidding me. Yeah. Native yeah. European. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's from France, but uh, I don't know. Oh, my God. He can probably trace his roots somewhere else. If you get my drift, he... Carl, you're so nice. No pun intended. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta be freaking kidding me. You're such a good guy, Carl. You said Giannis could be a European. Yeah, yeah, Giannis too. Yeah. He's... <laughs> <laughs> I really thought about that. I, that's not even where I was going. I just thought, I was like, huh, I wonder if that's true. Then I was like, wait, no. Go Bears from France. That's a good <laughs> That shit's European. You're right, bro. God damn. You're right, man. <laughs> so, uh, uh, you know, you know, uh, Nurkic will probably be the first European player ever to win oh defensive, my God. <laughs> defensive player of the year. Give me a break. And which will be great. I mean, if we're wrong, we'll look it up and see if there's any guys. I don't think there is. I mean... Has Sergi Baca ever won it? I guess he he played for Spain for Spain in the in the Olympics, and I mean, that's right, that's true. Honestly, I don't think Serge ever won it. I don't think he did either. I think he was always like in the running. Yeah, he but was. I think that's when, like, around when Dwight was, yeah. Dwight and Chris Paul were big. Yeah, I think that was in like. Yeah, I, I I I agree with that. I don't I don't really remember yeah, all the time kind of uh, melts together. Yeah, I don't either. So, uh, so we you know we did the, we did the Western Conference. Uh, we're running on like pretty close to an hour. Did you guys want to go through the East or? Uh, Boston, mm-hmm. one, uh, number two. I'm going Raptors. <laughs> Three. It's pretty much set. Three, uh, Philadelphia. Yeah, three Sixers. Uh, four. four. I don't really care who else goes because they're gonna be garbage. Four, the fourth four is, through eight is whatever. No, 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 no. Time out, time out. No, 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 no. Time out. Fill in the blanks. No, you guys need to stop. Maybe, maybe five down. Okay, you guys need to stop because four can either be the Bucks or the Pacers. You guys go. Dang, you got. You got. I listen, left my boy Giannis out like that. Yeah, for the bucks. No, 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 no. And I'm not going. No, no, no. No, you didn't even want to have somebody at the fourth spot before, so I'm not going to let you put the bucks there that easy. All right. So let me, let me, let me say my piece. Okay, the Pacers. They got Victor Oladipo. They got Darren Collison. They got Tyreek Evans. They got Miles Turner. Um, they got baby, so the real baby Sabonis. Shaq was calling somebody else baby Sabonis for a long time, but they got the real, the real baby Sabonis on the team who balled out last year. Oh, um, guess who else won Defensive Player of the Year? Um, Mark Gasol. He did win. Oh, he did. Uh, I think Spanish, huh. European. Oh, he's, <laughs> That's he's, oh, nice. He's, he's <laughs> well, he's the first. He's the, he's the first to win it. Uh, and they got what's that guy? What's that guy? I forgot that dude's name. Uh, Thaddeus Young's on the Pacers. Okay. The Pacers got a nice roster. They added uh, Doug McDermott too. Dougie McBuckets. Yeah, man. Come on, man. Okay, who? <laughs> Bricks. Damn, man. I didn't that was that. wrong. He did not deserve that. You're right. Uh, he didn't deserve that, man. Come on, man. You gotta put some respect on Dougie McDuck. All right. So, come on. Is that enough to beat, uh, what's his name, Giannis? No. No? Nope. Oh, Who's going to guard him? <laughs> Tyreek? Tyreek going to be too slow. No. Oh. Young, probably. Okay, you're right. Nobody yeah, can guard him. Yeah, is Young, probably the one they would match up with him. Okay, whatever. All right, so Bucks at four. <laughs> Five, the Pacers. Six, the Heat. So defeated. Seven, the Wizards. Seven, Wizards. 
And then eight. eight Cleveland dude? No, no, no. <laughs> Caleb no, 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 is no. back. No, 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 no. Yes. No. no. And Seti? Seti and Caleb, the big two? No, 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 no. 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 I let you guys know who <laughs> Easter conference teams. I'm not letting you guys put the Cavs in there. <laughs> put the Cavs in there. No. I'm let, not putting the Cavs in there. Wait, Detroit over Detroit? Ooh. Yeah, I can see Detroit making Andre it. Andre Drummond That'd and Blake be- Griffin? Boban's on the uh, the Clippers. Oh, yeah. That's right. Boban dunked. Oh, Boban, you're right. You said didn't you didn't you say Boban was on the phone book list? Yeah. Yeah, because he dunked on uh, two people. I think the other night. But he literally he didn't, doesn't. He didn't jump. Yeah. Didn't he, he do like hang on the rim with like his yeah. feet were on the ground type of deal? No. Yeah. He 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 hung on the rim and pulled himself up like. To, <laughs> It was the most unathletic dark I've ever seen in my life. You trying to get attacked? Yeah, it was, like, it, was, it was like, yeah, bro. It was like, why are you doing that, Boban? Just just, just lay the ball up. Boban's so, like that whack dude, <laughs> that whack tall ass dude from the um, Globetrotters. Oh. oh. There's I forget all... what his name was. It's like Tiny or something. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I know, you, I know who you mean, but I, I swear, know. all he did was just like he was like so tall he would not jump and yeah, he would dunk just, it, and then he would, and then he would just start shake shaking the, yeah, the rim. Yeah, he would just shake the rim. <laughs> yeah, he would shake the rim. I remember that guy. <laughs> it was so wack. So, so that's the East. I mean, Cleveland could sneak in there somehow. You know, Kevin Love does a couple 30-30 games, but Kevin Love has never made the playoffs without LeBron. So why should I start trusting him now? Just because he's in a weak conference. Well, that's why. Uh, He's in the weak conference now. Uh, well, if he, start, if, he, if he puts up, if he, okay, this is, they'll make the playoffs if he puts up two 30 30 games before the All Star break. Then <laughs> he'll make the playoffs. Does the finals team not make the playoffs in this season? Ooh, probably. Mm-hmm. I don't remember that happened. <laughs> I don't got that much knowledge. I'm just uneducated. And I'm qualified. I'm over here. Uh, the Celtics. Yeah. No, they not. They didn't. I was thinking, no, no, they made the playoffs. Yeah, the Heat. It has oh, to be the oh Heat. yeah, probably the, yeah, yeah. The Shaq Heat. No, nah, the uh, the LeBron Heat. Like they made the finals, and he ran to. I mean, he oh, went to right. Cleveland. Unless, because I think D Wade was hurt that last year. And Chris Bosh, his heart exploded. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, blood clots, I mean. Maybe the Heat, but if not, it'll be uh it'll be the Cavs this year. Any team that LeBron played for after they leave. After he leaves, they uh, go to the go to the trash can. And that's only because yep. the team is built around him. And if you build around a foundation, you take that foundation out, the, the house falls down. I came up with a new term. I What's had that? a student, right? And he was rocking a bolt, like some Bulls uh, jersey. Mm-hmm. Or not, so he had a Bulls backpack or something. I was like, oh, so you're a fan of the Bulls? And he goes, no, I'm a LeBron fan. I was Whoa. like, what? <laughs> Whoa. So then I just started calling that fool a Bron Noser. <laughs> <laughs> Does he even know what that means? <laughs> no. Oh, man, poor kid. <laughs> He said, what does that mean? I was like, I don't think I can tell you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was the probably the smartest thing I came up with for the entire day, and I taught the class. So, Hey, our, yep. our kids' futures are in good hands. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it's getting kind of awkward. Um, any, anybody has anything to, you know, any closing statements? anything you know it was good to have you back on Carl I hope you uh decide to return to your recurring role yeah I'm uh I I'm I'm just trying to get that uh like that balance you know that balance of work and not work life so yep yep I'm trying to I'm trying to at least be on this every time that I have the chance now just so I can get some type of break from just thinking about all that crap that sounds good. That's perfect, perfect. Um, and Mike, Mike will definitely be on with you know same thing. Mike has a he has a busy schedule, so we'll try to get him on. You know, provide that uh that other voice from our voice, uh, the voice that's a little more.
qualified and a little more educated than we are. Yeah, right. It might be a little too qualified and a little too educated for this podcast. <laughs> but then we'll just bring Smash right along and bring it back down. <laughs> Average it out. <laughs> he can't defend himself. <laughs> no, man. You, you'll see once you get into a, a debate with my man. Start talking about how. Uh, no, no need to get into it now. But yeah, so this was a good episode, good fun one. Can't wait to get that for you guys. And remember, always know what you're cooking before you start. Because once you get to it, it's just going to be a mess without instructions. Bam. And we're out. I guess that made sense. Yeah, shut up. <laughs>